Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. In this video, we're going to be working with our 2006 Chrysler 300. We're going to show you how to remove and replace your chrome door strip on either front door. If you like this video, please click subscribe. We have a ton more information on this car as well as many other makes and models. And if you need parts for your vehicle, you can follow the link down in the description over to 1AAuto.com. Here are the items you'll need for this repair. Normally there would be a little panel here that's broken off and missing from our vehicle. You would want to take a hooked pick, put it in there, and just pop it down. Once that's out of the way, you can use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screw and the handle. There are several of these style clips around the door panel. The way to remove those, push the center in and then use one of your trim tools from 1AAuto.com to get behind it and pop it out. We have one missing here. There are two more of these on the other side of the door. We have another one missing here on the back side of the door panel and then three Phillips head screws along the bottom as well as one up on the side here in the front. We'll remove all of those with our Phillips head screwdriver. Below the door pull is another panel we'll have to pop down. Behind that panel is another Phillips head screw that we'll have to remove with our screwdriver. Grab the bottom of the panel, pop it out. Release the door handle cable here by popping this clip off to the side, rotating it, and lifting the hook out. And we should be able to lay it back enough to remove the connectors on the master window switch. Then we'll want to pop out all the retainers, the wire harness, down here, unplug the courtesy light at the bottom of the panel as well. Again, this is another great place that our trim tools come in handy. Just reach it under there, pop them out. And set your panel off to the side. Remove the black trim panel along the top of the door. You have to pull it in toward the center to release the hook. Okay. Slide that out. Place this off to the side as well. To remove the chrome trim going along the top of the door, there are two T25 screws. One accessible here at the back of the door and another through this access panel. However, ours is missing up here, so you would remove this screw with a T25 Torx. And then we'll remove the one at the back. We're using a Torx screwdriver, but you could also use a Torx bit with an extension and a ratchet, whatever you have available. We'll then lift up at the back and slide it toward us. You can bend it a little bit to get it out, but try not to bend it too much. And remove the panel from the door. Reinstall your chrome trim. You got to kind of slide it in there. It's pretty tight. Line up the window scraper on the inside here. Make sure the rest of it's lined up. And then you can access the bolt holes. So we'll reinstall our T25 Torx screw on the end. And then again, ours is missing, but you would also want to tighten the T25 through this access hole at the front. Reinstall the plastic trim on the upper portion of the door panel. This simply slides in behind that felt sealer 
make sure that this corner gets started in at the same time. Might have to bend it just a little. Be careful when you're doing that. Once that's all lined up, we'll reinstall the black panel clips, which you pushed in to remove. So you pushed these pins in to release them and to reset them to go back in. You'll want to hold the top, push the head of the pin out, reinstall it into its hole, and then push that cap back in. Now it's in there secure. Do the same thing on the other side here. Reconnect the courtesy light. Pop those two harness connections back into their proper locations. Reconnect the power mirror switch. I know there are two gray connectors here with a lot of similar colored wires going to them, but the one for the mirror switch is slightly smaller and has a lot more connections on it. So we'll plug that in all the way at the front of the panel closest to me. The little black connector goes in the top of the power window switch. The large gray connector goes at the far end of the power window switch. Reinstall the latch rod. Slide that clip back over it. Lift up and slide over the door lock. Line up your panel and snap all the clips back into place. To reinstall these clips, you'll have to push the tab back out and through, place it back into its opening in the door panel, pop the tab back in in the center, repeat that process with the other two clips at the back of the door. Reinstall the three screws along the bottom, the one up here at the front of the door, one under this panel, and one behind the door handle with our Phillips head screwdriver. Remember to close those cover panels on the door if your vehicle still has them. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.